I'm Mariana Arambiro with your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following. Ababa notices are being distributed to campers at Cuddy Park, many of whom were recently evacuated from the Sullivan Arena. Residents have 10 days to move even though there's no available low barrier shelter space at the moment. And many of those being asked to move suffer physical or other disabilities. Anchorage Parks and Recreation Director Mike Braniff says a permit was sold to Showdown Alaska, an event which is set to host some 10 thousand people. Police are encouraging people to use local resources to try and find other housing options. And after months of discussion, pressure and protest, Anchorage police are one step closer to getting body worn cameras for the entire force. The police department and the union have reportedly reached an agreement on the use of body cams more than two years after Anchorage residents voted to fund that equipment for the Anchorage Police Department. The Alaska Black Caucus even filed a lawsuit in that time demanding action be taken. I think that the, the union and, uh, and, and the police department are, have, have come to a resolution on the policy. Um, and so I hope to hear an announcement soon. Um, and we know that we're going to select a vendor soon um, and get those cameras out on the street and get them used. And our road trip and adventures continue with Kristen Duran and Carly Shrek in Kodiak. It's already off the beaten path, but they decided to take it a little bit further, taking a walk through Fort Abercrombie State Historical Park. Now, it's been raining there for a month, so they were super lucky to get a brief window. For more on that, you can check out and follow all of our road trip and stories at alaskasnewsource.com. It's some fun ones for sure. Well, those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. I'm Arianne Aaron Bureau. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.